Well, we measure body temperature as an indicator of the thermal status of the animal. Actually, there are other things that we could measure in addition to body temperature, but body temperature is probably the most reliable indicator of the thermal status of that animal. It really gives us a good indication of the overall health of the animal and problems that it might be experiencing, such as fever, for example. If the animal has some sort of disease that might show fever, it gives us a quick determination of the health of that animal. Well, there are many different locations in the body that we could get the temperature of the animal from. We could measure it from the skin, okay, using some sort of recording device. We could measure it from the ruminal temperature using a transmitter inside the animal. We could measure it from the eardrum, where we take a, a device and, sh and shine it into the ear and get the, the temperature of the eardrum. Or we could measure the rectal temperature. The last one is the one that's probably the most reliable and most commonly used to determine the thermal status. Well, there are many different devices that can be used for measuring rectal temperature. Probably the most classical device would be just your glass thermometer. But the glass thermometer has a number of problems. First of all, it can break, which could be a serious problem. And second of all, traditionally, they're not that accurate. So today, we use modern technology to record rectal temperature. We can use thermistor probes, which are fairly inexpensive, attached to some sort of digital recorder to get a quick determination of rectal temperature. So how can we use the uh, thermistor probe or the rectal thermometer to measure the body temperature of the animal? Well, the first step is to make sure that the animal is restrained in some way. Either there could be in a stanchion or some sort of head gate that can hold the animal still to make sure that you're not going to be kicked, you're not going to be stepped on when you try to take the rectal temperature. The next step is a very important step, and that is to put lubricant in the form of petroleum jelly or some other lubricant onto the probe prior to inserting it into the animal. You want to be absolutely careful that when that goes into the animal that that probe does not penetrate or perforate the, the lining of the animal's rectum it could cause then a serious problem. So this has to be done extremely carefully. Then you want to wait for approximately two minutes until the value is stabilized and after that recorded for use.